is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. It's a national police service here in Canada. Before you become a police in Canada, you have to pass through trading here in Regina, Saskatchewan. So, <laughs> say hi to my auntie once again. <laughs> I just met her in town and today we are going somewhere special. And of course, you all are coming together. I'm excited. This is going to be like my official first tour day here in Saskatchewan. So, the, the, yeah. The vacation has uh, just day is finished <laughs> yeah. she yeah. rested for two few days and guys and it's cold it's currently about eight degrees now this is my outfit for today <laughs> guys let me know in the comment section do i look cute <laughs> i feel cute though so let's go hey auntie where are we going we're going to the rcmp depot okay so the RCM rcmp is a uh, royal canadian mounted police okay and they they are the federal police of Canada, so they are training depots in Regina, Saskatchewan. So, so everybody who like is a police will pass through this. A federal town. police will pass okay. through this city. That's wow. where they will have their training. While we are driving through, this is our Mosaic Stadium. Okay. Yeah. So this is the uh, the the home for our football club. Oh wow. The Canadian football club. They are called the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. So I this is their home. That's their like the national stadium. Uh, stadium so that's that's it uh, oh, it's mosaic. so beautiful so, wow. yeah, so that's our mosaic stadium wow hmm, the home of the riders <laughs> at the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Depot. It was established in 1920. Any police you see in Canada has passed through this training grounds. Some of the duties of an RCMP officer is to prevent and solve crimes, enforce federal law, build and maintain relationships with communities, and keep Canadians safe. The so this is, yeah, this is the a replica of an RCMP woman. Yeah, I realize they, they give them some <laughs> hips. <laughs> so they have things you can get for a family member or a friend. This is cute. So that's a that's a typical RCMP vehicle, the, the okay. police vehicle. So that's a replica one. So beautiful. And like yeah. handcuffs yeah. here. Yeah. Where well, the boots, boots for the police? Oh. And make. also, eighty percent of what we do is the boots. Okay. So in week seven, when you go through, you're fit with your boots. So we either stretch them to fit each individual, or we cut them back to fit each individual. Mm -hmm. So if we stretch them, we soak them in here, and then we use a series of blocks and wedges like this. <laughs> to wedge them open to the size we need. Wow. I see. See that? Yeah. And so like this. So I yes. every time you have two of anything, they're a little different. Great. Yeah. I get to hold an officer's boot. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yes. And I really like the yeah. leather quality. I know it's such a good quality leather. Now the original boots. Oh. Right. They're not. They're all leather, but they they look. There's no dimension to them. And as you can see by those, mm. or anything that's been polished already, like oh, okay. these are a good example because this is this is one of the guys in drill. Yeah, they, they do it right. So yeah. they look 
you know, three dimensional as opposed to just being, like you said, matte or flat. Yeah, flat. Yeah. So, how, how many boots are you entitled to here? Yeah. Yeah. As many as you want. Soccer, how many why. do you have? I have one. One. My original pair. Yes, 25. Yeah. Got 25 <laughs> years. <laughs> got it. Still got it. The place is really huge, and I've been walking for. Uh, for quite some time now. So this is we the are, headquarters. Yeah. The headquarters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the headquarters. Okay. So we are going inside the headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> it's currently fall, so you notice most of the trees look like this, and the leaves are all over. <laughs> So this is a star, this is called star blanket. So a star blanket is uh, very unique to indigenous people. So when an indigenous person gives you a star blanket, that means you're very unique. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor. So oh. you have the three, so yes. you have the, uh, the three wheat. Yes. So those three represent Saskatchewan. The three wheat. Yeah. So because Saskatchewan uh, grows grains, mm. so when you, when you see Saskatchewan, anything Saskatchewan, you see the beets. Okay. Nice. Thank yeah. you so much for the tour. Oh, you're very yeah. welcome. We needed access to be able to yeah. explore this place and hear That's it. right. Otherwise, thank you. otherwise security would have stopped. I exactly. <laughs> so yeah. wanted to say also, thank you. We are about to enter the um, museum, which is right behind us, and we still have our visitors' um, card, so we are going to use that to visit the museum. So, let's go, guys. We are currently at the RCMP Heritage Center. You get to explore the history of the RCMP from the formation of the Northwest Mounted Police, which was in 1873, to a modern day stories of the RCMP through a variety of traditional informative exhibits. This place is currently operated by a non-profit organization. It's a well-created collection with many examples from former RCMP members like the medals, weapons, uniforms, and all the equipment they used in the past. Everything represented here looks so real. Like the horse behind me looks like a real, real, real horse. Wow. And yeah. more like an audio room where they explain everything here so when you sit you can hear it coming from the speaker here 
um, he just sits and listens to the history of Canada. Um, it's a beautiful place, I must say. So in all, I would say it was a lovely experience here. There's a lot of history to learn here. Um, make it a point to visit whenever you are in Saskatchewan. I recommend this place. It's a beautiful experience. So this is a TP. So t a TP is mainly for, it's a ceremonial hat or something for the indigenous people. That's where they do go and do and go in and do their ceremonies and yeah. is it usually small or is very no, big? No, tipis are huge. They are huge. Oh, yeah, okay. tipis are very because this is a display tipi, but typically that's how a tipi looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but uh, but they are very huge and tall, so yeah, you can get into it and yeah. It cost um, ten dollars to be able to access the museum, but it was such an enlightening um, time here at the museum. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Would you visit this place on your next visit in Saskatchewan? Let me know. You know how I was struggling to mention Saskatchewan, but now it's like Saskatchewan. Now I'm getting used to it. Exactly. I'm becoming a pro, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comment section. Did you enjoy watching this video? Let me know. Let me know. So we are done with the tour. It's time to return our visitors pass and head back. So this is how it looks like from here. It's so beautiful and I really like the weather. I came at a perfect time. Not winter, not summer, but fall. So guys, let me know in the comment section. Did you enjoy watching this video? Did you find this video educative? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time on my next video, I want to say I love you all. Much love from Saskatchewan here in Canada. Canada. <laughs> Let's go. I love you all. Much, much, much love. Mwah. <laughs>